Across three thousand miles of sea, and through strange England smiling, and into a wee Scots highland town, there is a boy who's crying. Oh, fool the world, he could, he could. A man at twenty years, but all alone in that highland town, there is a boy in tears. A man drink like that and he don't eat. He is going to die. When? What's your name? Well, my name is Jim, but most people call me... Jim. <laughs> okay, Jim. Since you are my guest and I am your host, what are your pleasures? What do you like to do? Oh, I don't know. Play chess. Screw. Well, let's play chess. Checkmate. What? Checkmate. Well, you devious son of a bitch. Happy days. Man, why you do that to yourself? <laughs> oh, you don't really want to know that. I do, I do. Well, if you must pry. I must, I must. I don't know if you ever heard of me before, but I used to be called the Waco Kid. The Waco Kid. He had the fastest hands in the West. In the world. Well, if you're the kid, then show me something. Oh, well, maybe a couple of years ago I could have shown you something, but today, look at that. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. See, I knew you wasn't no Waco kid. You was just pulling my lariat. Oh, dear, dear. <sighs> well, what happened? Oh, well, it got so that every pissant prairie punk who thought he could shoot a gun would ride into town to try out the Waco kid. I must have killed more men than Cecil B. DeMille. It got pretty gritty. I started to hear the word draw in my sleep. Then one day, I was just walking down the street, and I heard a voice behind me say, Reach for it, mister. I spun around. And there I was, face to face. With a six-year-old kid. Well, I just threw my guns down and walked away. Little bastard shot me in the ass. So I limped to the nearest saloon, crawled inside a whiskey bottle, and I've been there ever since. Have a drink. Thanks. Anyway, that's all ancient history. When I was uh, eight years old, seven, seven and a half or eight years old, my mother had a heart attack. And uh, this heavy set doctor brought her home, told her some things while she was lying in bed, and then came out to see me. And he grabbed me by the arm. It was summer, a hot day, and the sweat was dripping off of his face and falling onto my cheeks. And he said, don't ever get angry with your mother because you might kill her. <laughs> he was not very psychologically oriented. <laughs> but the other thing he said was, try to make her laugh. Try to make her laugh. And that was a, a huge thing, although I didn't realize it at the time. But for the first time in my life, I tried consciously to make someone else laugh. 